Hey guys, Michael Hyatt here from PlatformUniversity.com and I want to talk about how to create an elevator pitch. Now, you know you need one. You've heard of this before, but essentially it's a short pitch on what your product, your service, your brand, or your cause is all about. You want to be able to get this really succinct so that you can get your message across when you need it. Now, there's three benefits for having the right elevator pitch. Number one is it forces you to achieve clarity yourself. I can't tell you how many times people have come to me with some discombobulated, uh, messy elevator pitch. They didn't even know what they were asking for and it didn't serve them and it wasted my time and you don't want that. So an elevator pitch that's finely tuned forces you to get the clarity you need to sell your idea. Second reason is that it helps you understand your customer's perspective. When you try to get it tight and get a pitch that really communicates the essence of what you're trying to communicate, it forces you to get into the customer's head. What are their needs? What are their questions? What are their problems that you need to solve? So getting into their perspective is critically important. Third benefit to having an elevator pitch is that it enables you or gives you a tool to enroll the strategic partners you need to succeed. The truth is, if you've got an idea that's worth pursuing, you need help. You can't do it all yourself. You're going to have to enroll a lot of people in the process. An elevator pitch helps you get that idea across in a succinct, compelling way. And maybe, by the way, you're wondering where this whole idea of an elevator pitch came from. Well, the idea was that you're standing in an elevator with somebody important. You have this enormous opportunity and you only have a few floors as the elevator is going up to pitch your idea and to get it across and to get the buy-in. Michael Hyatt. Yeah. Big fan of yours, really big fan. Awesome. Listen, I've got an idea for a movie. Well, actually, it'll start with a book, but then we can make a movie out of it. It's about music. I mean, it's uh, everybody loves music, right? This is a story that's going to touch your heart, touch your soul. It's going to touch all over your body. It's going to be really, really great. What do you... This is my floor. I got to go. <laughs> can you believe that guy? He totally blew it. He had something that was obviously very important to him but he couldn't make the case in a way that was clear or compelling. I want to teach you the four components of an elevator pitch so that you can connect and get your point of across. Number one, you've got to state the product and the category. Keep it simple, but make it clear. Number two, you've got to describe the problem you're trying to solve. Number three, you've got to focus on your proposed solution. And number four, you've got to state the key benefit of your proposed solution. If you do that, if you nail all four components, you have a much better chance of a successful pitch. Michael Hyatt? Yeah. Big fan of yours? Awesome. Listen, I'm writing a book. Uh, it's an inspirational book and it's called Cloudburst. It's about a young, talented musician and he dreams of conducting symphonies. The only thing is, he can't read music. And because of this, no one in the music business will give him a break. But because of his hard work, his honesty, and his determination, he succeeds. That could work. Really? I like it. Let's be in touch. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes! Hey, if you want to learn how to grow your audience or increase your influence, join us at PlatformUniversity.com. Hey everyone, this is Megan Hyatt Miller, Dean of Platform University, here to give you a sneak peek of what you can expect next month inside the membership. During our masterclass, Michael reveals the seven questions he asks at the end of each year to give him the insight and perspective he needs to set successful goals for the coming 12 months. Why do you first review the past before you set goals for the future? One of the things I find is that if people don't get closure on the past, if they don't resolve it and they leave it kind of open-ended with things that they either regret or things that they're angry about or whatever, then they drag that into the future. And it ends up limiting their possibilities for planning you know, a terrific year and, and really achieving what they want to accomplish. So you can't really hit the reset button um, until you review the past. That's right. 
In our Backstage Pass, Michael shares some of his favorite WordPress plugins and the benefits they can offer to you and your site. But I'm gonna walk you through the ones that I'm using presently and are really important. Uh, Akismet. This one is so important because it's a spam filter for comment spam. So if you're worried about leaving your comments on your blog wide open, because if you do that, you might get comment spanner, spammers who will, you know, I mean, I get these ones who will leave uh, nasty comments or who will lead, uh, leave references to spell casters. Who knew those existed? But they're basically solicitations for third-party services and Akismet just kills them. I mean, it, it quarantines them. I have to approve these comments before they actually get on to my site, but it's a great, great plugin. And it's made by the people who make WordPress, a company called Automatic. In our member makeover, Michael and I sit down and give one of our members our top 10 recommendations for how they can take their platform to the next level. And don't miss a live Q&A with Michael at the end of the month where he'll take your questions about setting goals and achieving what matters most to you in the new year. We can't wait to share all this amazing content with you and so much more at platformuniversity.com. See you inside the membership.